In this video, I'll be testing the steering of all these vehicles, all six of them. To the left is the Tamiya CC01 modified. Next up is the an Ascender with a Dingo body on it. Both of those are class one. Next is an axial based SEX10 with 10 two axles. That's my class two truck. Then we have the Traxxas TRX4. Then we have uh, Grimlock 2, and that is a custom built truggy four wheel steer beast of a truck. And next to that, we have the Bouncer, also four wheel steer. That particular one has a 5700 kV censored castle and uh, it runs 3S. You guys can watch the entire video, but if you're interested in the uh, TRX4, it turns the sharpest with all the diffs open with the diffs locked it's the worst but if you got time sit back and enjoy I'm going to test the turning ability of the Traxxas TRX4 um, no lockers front locker engaged only rear locker engaged only and both lockers engaged we're going to see how good they are and write down the measurements along this 2x2 two two that I'm using and I will compare it against some of my other vehicles. I will give their description when I put them on here. So here we go with the TRX. Both diffs are open. Simply going to turn the wheel all the way to the left and see how far it gets. Go slow so there's no spin out. about to perform that same test again the front is locked and I did roll the diff a little bit to make sure it was fully engaged same way let's see where we go front only locked there we are quite a bit of difference here Rear locked only, and granted, I can do this because I'm running a Hack Fly Sky GT3C. Turn wheels all the way. Let's see what we got. It is sharper than front locker only. Here we have both axles are locked. Both axles have been rolled to make sure they are perfectly locked. This, so y'all know, I'm starting as even as I can on this. And the turn, and let's see how it goes. This is going to be wide. Oh, it's going to miss the board. Hmm, hmm. I guess I'll mark the trailer. One of the vehicles I'm comparing the TRX2 to is a highly competitive class two truck that I call Optimus Prime. It is modified pretty much to no end with a 4,000 kV motor. Obviously servo winch. SCX10 two axle housings from Entergy with a whole bunch of brass. Everything from hot racing brass knuckles to beef tube parts and pieces. It's got hardened ring and pinions, all kinds of stuff. So we're going to see how this truck works. And obviously you can't change the diff selection with this. In with the same test that I did with the Traxxas. Full turn. And yes, I do have them not blocked out. Let's go. This is with full lockers. There we go. It is very close to the open disc of the Traxxas. Probably inch and a half to two inches off the mark. This is my class three truck. It's a bit larger in every way. It does have four wheel steering. I will run this truck along the test, both with and without rear steer. 
and we'll see how this one compares. Lot two. This first test will be with four wheel steering. This truck is long, it has about 13 and 3 quarter inch wheelbase. It is a long truck. Wow, that is a, a whole lot of tightness right there. Now here we go, the same test, only front steer only. See how it does like this. This does have Vanquish VVDs, so it turns a little bit sharper than a standard SCX axle. However, it is white. It still turns sharper than the Traxxas with both diff lock. Vehicle that I want to compare the turning to is a Ascender shortened with a Scalar Fab front bumper and an Axial Dingo body. And here we go. Slightly shorter than the TRX4 rear locker only, but larger than the open on the TRX4. This is the Tamiya CC01. It does have modifications, along with a bobble-headed dog. Let's see what we got here. slightly shorter than the front locker on the TRX-4. This is my bouncer. It has a 5700 kV censored castle motor, Wraith Vanquish axles, um, two-speed twin hammers transmission with all steel internals. It is my competition vehicle for a Baja race in which the slowest thing about a Baja is us. Well, let's see what this thing's got with four wheel steering. There we go. Gotta be careful with the throttle on this one, it gets a little bit wild really quick. It is actually a little bit tighter than Grimlock 2. Probably from the universal joints in these axles, front and rear. And I've actually got the rear turned down a little bit. But anyway, it is still tighter than Grimlock 2. We'll go again, this time front steer only. And I'm in first gear on the transmission as well. Slightly larger than front locker only with the TRX-4. This is front steer only on the bouncer. A little bit more than on the wooden trail. Steer on the bouncer. Just about the same as what the trailer had. Tamaya on dirt. And it comes around about the same as the bouncer did on the trailer. And lock two, front steer only. Wow, that just went really out there. actually a little bit tighter than the trailer Grimlock front. Here we have the Traxxas TRX4, no lockers. Let's see how it does as compared to the wooden trailer.
it is on the dirt it is a little more than it did on the trailer a little under optimus traxxas trx4 front locker only about the same as what it had on the trailer Texas TRX4 rear locker only showing you the tire kind of at times it'll spin a little bit due to the locker all right that is the rear locker on the trailer which is wood and here we are on dirt so uh, rear locker hooks up a little more on the dirt than it does on the wooden trailer the Traxxas TRX4 both lockers locked it turns better than it did on the trailer due to it didn't even touch the board last time so yeah a little more than Grimlock front steer only here's my class 2 truck Optimus Prime let's see what it's got a little bit more on the dirt than it did on the wooden trailer the Terra Ascender with the Dingo body Let's see what it's got on the dirt. That is the same as what the Traxxas had with rear locker only. So after that test, in my opinion, if you need more steering than what this truck is capable of, your option, four wheel steering. This truck with open discs beat the Optimus with a 10-2 axle up front. My Optimus is a little bit shorter wheelbase at about 12.3. Not sure if you can see that or not. So considering this is a longer wheelbase and that's the kind of turn it's capable of, that's very impressive. Now with the both lockers well optimus is axial based so therefore both lockers are fully engaged with the stock traxxas you're way out here same as my class 3 truck with both lockers engaged so there is room for improvement and that's going to come with weight bias because this truck is extremely modified it's biased up front and everything the Traxxas although it does have a winch the servo winch put in there I put the cage and even the spare tire back on it so its balance would be very similar to what it was from the factory 